spikes, they make me smile. So we need 18 spokes um, for the drive side, which will be 297 millimeters. And then we need 18 spokes for the non-drive side, which will be 302 millimeters. Now, we can either uh, purchase the spokes at our local bike shop, or we can cut them and thread them, or actually thread them first and then cut them. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate how to use the hosen, which is a, a very cost-effective, uh, essentially it's a $180 uh, spoke threading tool. Very simple machine. Um, so the blanks, I'm using blanks, and these particular spokes are titanium, but they could be just as well be stainless. Um, the, the blanks that I'm using are 310 millimeters long. So I need to thread, uh, I need to calculate and thread uh, half of the spokes to 302 and half of them to 297. So I've marked that out and I've set up my jig um, and I've clamped them. And this is a very simple machine. You simply start turning it and it has a, it has a tap on the machine and it actually, it's not a tap, it, it rolls so it, rather than removing material, it crushes it and forces, it's like cold forging. It forces uh, the threads into the material. So we don't want to actually remove material. Um, so as we thread this, so far I'm, I'm on existing threads and then I'll, I will feel some resistance when I start actually rolling or forcing new threads. So, and it's, it's important to, to first calculate uh, the distance you need because you do not want to have too much of the spoke threaded. Um, so I've determined that I need to, uh, to thread on another uh, 11 millimeters um, because I will be then cutting off some material at the end of the spoke. So I have the jig set, and then we back it off. And so for my blank, I've added uh, my 11 millimeters of threading to the spoke. And then it's critical to, uh, to cut off the excess. Um, you cannot simply cut the spoke because you will mess up the threads but it's the same as cutting down a bolt. You thread on a nut, in this case being a nipple, a brass nipple, uh, an alloy nipple won't work because it's softer than the, than the spoke material. And now I need to cut the excess threading off the end of the spoke. So I'm going to use an older cable cutter, cut that off, and then clean it up flat with a file as we rotate it in our hand. And then, as I remove the nipple, it will ensure that the threads are clean. So now we have a spoke that's cut and threaded to our desired length. Um, we only need to do that 32 more times, or 31 more times. <laughs>